Poncho heard that there was a blanket in this package and he got so excited. This little monster right here has stolen every single one of my blankets, but we're not gonna let him take the cozy blanket. Not this time. I just realized I don't have mascara on. <laughs> Are you guys ready to get cozy? So I did a thing. I basically bought one of everything from the very first cozy launch and my packages finally got here. It actually showed up way faster than expected and 10 out of 10 on the shipping. I did purchase all of this myself and I'm gonna do a try on haul slash first impressions review for you guys and let you know if this was worth the price <laughs> that I paid. So I did something that I literally never do. I switched up my earrings. I really wanted to wear this piece from Jacqueline Roxanne. So I switched over to both of my plain hoops on this side and then we have this fun little piece over here. I felt that it was fitting since it's another I'm in it brand and I will have Jack and Roxanne and Cozy linked down below in the description box so that you guys can shop or check out their websites if you wish. For reference, I did order the clothing items in a size XL. I don't know if they're gonna fit me. I literally haven't even opened the boxes yet. So hopefully they do. I will also let you know like sizing of other clothes that I wear just to give you a better idea. And I also have blanket comparisons. So I have some pretty spicy comparisons to show you guys. Like I said, I have not felt the cozy stuff yet, but we are about to open these packages. If you are new, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy, and let's go ahead and get started. So I had free shipping since I spent over $100, which was fantastic, and like I said, it came FedEx. It came so fast, I was very impressed. So let's go ahead and open it up. I'm so excited. They did split up my order. It was only one order, but they split it up into two packages, probably just because of the, the size of the product. But I literally cannot wait to feel this fabric and see these products in person. All right, we're going to <laughs> maybe open this. <gasps> Okay, just wanted to make sure I wasn't showing my address. Alrighty. Wow, this is an intricate box. Okay, <laughs> let me take my order slip out of there. Here's what the package looks like. All right, so we have the socks, we have the slippers, we have a super cute little card. Oh, fun. Oh, I signed up for their text messages. That's how I found out that my order was like gonna be delivered early. Um, it looks like this is potentially the blanket or the robe. Moving on to the second box. I ordered the pajama set <laughs> in black. I ordered the long sleeve pant pajama set and I ordered it in black. I posted a poll on Instagram to see what you guys thought as far as like what color I should get. I put black, gray, or both and black won barely. Jacqueline herself voted for black, which was my main <laughs> deciding factor um but i'm so happy that i went with black like i'm already happy just because i know with poncho with his black dog hair it's gonna be it's it's gonna be the better choice all right so in this box we have the pajama set and then again the blanket or the row i think this is the blanket actually so i think we'll start with the blanket here is what the packaging looks like. It's super cute. I love the branded bags. They're also Ziploc bags. How bougie is that? Now this is a luxury brand. <laughs> so I heard her say the word luxury before like pricing and products were like announced or released. So I knew that this was gonna be pricey and it was definitely pricey. So in total, I, in total, I spent over $400 on these products so I will let you know if they are worth it like I said I have some blanket comparisons some pricier high-end blankets and then some more affordable blankets so we'll get to that in a second but I'm about to touch this fabric for the very first time right away it looks different than I expected I think I saw the robe and expected the material of the blanket and the robe to be the same but that's definitely not the case all right here we go are you ready <sighs> oh my goodness oh my goodness first of all the color is the most perfect gray i have ever seen it is 
so soft. It looks like you have some care instructions here. I'm just gonna hold this here because I don't wanna let go. Um, so we have care instructions, how to wash the blanket and dry. Also like all the info you need is on here. So make sure you save this card and read it. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. I love the way that it's wrapped. I already love this detail right here. There's a tag sewn into the blanket. Sorry about the lighting, which I love. Oh my gosh, what does this say? Be kind to you. Please wash me before use. Probably because it sheds, that's my guess. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and just kinda do a little test run. I love that it's wrapped in this really cute like cloth ribbon. Definitely 10 out of 10 on the attention to detail already. It's also branded, which I think is so cool. I know not everybody cares about that stuff, but if you're paying a pretty penny for these items, I can appreciate some nice packaging. So here's the blanket. Oh my gosh, it's literally so soft. It has a nice weight to it too. I wouldn't call it a weighted blanket, but it definitely has a nice weight to it. This is honestly different from any blanket that I own. As I mentioned, I have some comparisons. I literally don't want to take this off. I have some comparisons, some that I thought were like maybe gonna be similar, but I will show you guys the texture. Obviously you can't feel them, but I will show you guys the texture up close and kind of give you my opinions on the other ones. But this blanket is gonna run you $140. So very, very pricey. I'm not even gonna lie, that's an expensive blanket. I'm not going to say that I have not purchased expensive blankets before though. So if it's, you know, if it's your cup of tea, maybe it is. Maybe you don't want to spend $140 on a blanket and that's completely understandable and I do not blame you at all. But I will say right away, this is way softer <laughs> than any other throw blanket that I have. That is a hundred plus dollars. So let's get into the comparisons. The first comparison I want to do was the most obvious to me and that is Barefoot Dreams. When I saw that she was releasing blankets and robes and socks, I was like, okay, Barefoot Dreams. <laughs> so I do have some Barefoot Dreams products. This blanket right here is actually a Barefoot Dreams blanket that Miss Jacqueline herself gave me when I won her contest in 2018. It was December 2018, so 19, 20, 21. Almost four years old. This blanket is almost four years old. I have washed it. I don't know how many times. It's definitely not as soft as like fresh out of the store anymore, but it is four years old. It has lasted me very well though. It's stayed intact for the most part. I mean, the, the fabric has minimally changed over that four years, but I do love this blanket. I actually have a couple Barefoot Dreams blankets. I also have one that I purchased, um, and I'm a big fan of Barefoot Dreams. Again, very pricey. I feel like these are similar price points. Um, so this is kind of the vibe that I was expecting. But this, let me show you a close up so that you can see the difference. Obviously this one is four years old and has been washed. And this one is brand new, never been washed, super fluffy. This material is way softer, way fluffier. I feel like this would keep you warmer than this. It's also a bit thicker than the Barefoot Dreams. So that's the first comparison I wanted to show you. Again, I have purchased Barefoot Dreams products. I have loved them, so no shade to Barefoot Dreams, but <laughs> This is very soft. I also have some Barefoot Dreams socks, so we will compare these to the Cozy Socks. I have washed and worn several times, and I also have unwashed, never worn. I can feel a difference between these two for sure, but again, I probably had these for like a year, and these again are brand new. But I will show you guys a comparison of the Barefoot Dreams socks compared to the Cozy Blanket, both unwashed, unused, and from the feel, this is still softer. These socks feel way softer than my worn ones, but again, these are probably about a year old. So there is a difference in texture between these two fabrics, the way they feel, even though it's the same exact fabric. These still, this is way softer. So <laughs> um, I'm, I'm like loving this. I literally can't stop feeling it. It feels so good. Our next contender is a Target blanket. This one is like, more of like a barefoot dream stoop. If you look at the texture between, 
Target and Barefoot Dreams. These look a lot more similar than the cozy looks to either of these. But I did want to show you guys because again, I wasn't sure exactly how this was going to feel. So again, we have cozy over here, uh, Target over here. The Target is definitely more similar to the Barefoot Dreams. This is already not feeling as good as my four-year-old Barefoot Dreams one, but if you're looking for something a lot more affordable, I still think that this is a nice blanket and it's really cute and they had like a bunch of cute colors. So if you want the Barefoot Dreams vibe, I think the Target one is a good dupe for it, if I'm being honest, but I would not say that it's comparable in any way to the cozy one. And then my last comparison is between Love Sack and Cozy. So I just looked up the Love Sack brand. This is called the Foot Sack. This is definitely a different type of product. There's like a pocket somewhere for your feet. So different product, but I was looking at like price points and this is the most expensive blanket that I have. I'm looking on the Love Sack website and it looks like these will run you like around $300, three plus for some of them. So this is literally double the price of the cozy one. Um, like I said, it is a little bit different. It has the pocket thing for your feet, but I feel like the fabric of the Love Sack one is probably the most comparable to the cozy one. Um, just like the, 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 the composition of it, if that makes sense. Like it doesn't have that signature barefoot dreams look. The fluffiness is like bigger, if that makes sense. Um, still, I would say this is absolutely softer than the love sack one. I love this one. Poncho loves this one. He sleeps on this one every single night. He stole it from me. He also stole the target one and he stole a barefoot dreams one. So he steals all of my blankets, um, but like I said earlier, I'm not gonna let him steal this one. <laughs> this one is for me. I'm also not gonna let Jarvis steal it from me. Um, so I, I'm just gonna be straight up. This is definitely the softest blanket of all of these, and it is brand new, and I have not washed it. So I'll have to update you guys after I wash this a few times and follow the care instructions and let you know if it's still the softest blanket ever. But my first impression is this is definitely the best feeling and the softest out of the ones that I have. And again, I love every single one that I showed you guys and we use them basically every single day. So I love all of those blankets, but this one I can tell is going to be, it's going to be a winner. Let's do the socks next, just because I already pulled out my Barefoot Dream socks. So here is what the socks look like. It comes in a pack of two. These run you, I think it's $30, $24 for the two pack of socks. Oh wow, these are so soft. These definitely feel more like the Barefoot Dreams material. So here's what they look like up close. So you guys can see the texture of the fabric. I love the sewn in tags. I think that's such a fun detail. Um, so these look very similar to my Barefoot Dreams ones. They're like a heathered gray. Um, so as you can see, here's what they look like. These are definitely way softer than the Barefoot Dreams ones as of right now. But again, you can even see like the fabric kind of starting to pill on the Barefoot Dreams ones on the bottom where you walk. But where are my, where are my new ones? But I do have the new Barefoot Dream socks. So here's what they look like side by side. I'm feeling them and they feel very similar. Like pretty dang similar. So um, if you love Barefoot Dream socks <laughs> and you want to support Cozy, you're going to love these. If you love these, I can guarantee that you're going to love these. They do feel very similar. They even look like that similar fabric, which is which is why I initially thought Barefoot Dreams when I saw the products in the Cozy line. Um, so these feel pretty, almost identical, honestly. Like, I don't know that like I could, mm, I'm trying to like reduce my sensory stimuli <laughs> and just feel them. And I feel, like these ones are a little bit softer. I know these ones are the cozy ones, but when I'm feeling like just the thickness of one sock, these feel a little bit fluffier, a little bit thicker, and they do feel like squishier, softer. The actual feel of the fabric is very similar, 
but I do feel like these are like the tiniest bit softer. I feel like y'all are gonna like say that I'm not telling the truth, but I promise these ones do feel just like the tiniest bit softer. And I can only tell when I'm feeling them side by side. If I like just felt this one and then just felt this one, it would be a lot harder to tell. But if I like close my eyes and hold my breath, <laughs> I feel like the cozy ones are just a little bit softer, but they're both incredible socks and I would definitely recommend both of them. I love that you get two pairs, the gray and the white. I'm pretty sure these are a better price than the Barefoot Dreams ones. So it looks like they are, the Barefoot Dreams ones are like 15 to $18 a pair. So the cozy ones are actually a better deal than the Barefoot Dreams ones. So I would say go for cozy. I hope they eventually come out with more colors because I would love like a, a beige and like this light pink color from cozy. I would absolutely love that. I would love to be able to switch over to cozy, cozy full time. <laughs> I will try on the socks in a little bit, but I just want to go ahead and feel the shoes. So these are the slippers. These are $30. I got them in a size 7, 8. I really hope that these fit me. I do typically wear a size 8, but never a 7. So <laughs> hopefully they still fit. They do come with little packaging on the inside to help keep the shape. Again, we have the sewn in tags. Oh my gosh. These are so so soft when I saw these I originally wow my lighting is like out of whack when I saw these I originally thought of a pair of free people slippers that I have but they're not they don't even compare they do not even compare so we have the rubber like slipper very durable feeling bottom then we have the slip-on type slippers like so I'm pretty sure black was the only color so we are going to try these on with the socks they're literally so soft i'll show you guys what they look like in a second but um this is the moment of truth right here this is where we're gonna see if the slippers fit like i said i wear an eight sometimes an eight and a half but never a seven or seven and a half so let's let's see if they fit oh yeah wow they're literally perfect <gasps> Oh my gosh, they're so cute. I'll insert footage here so you guys can see what they look like on, but the slippers are so squishy, so comfortable. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to walk around my house <laughs> without these slippers on now. Oh my gosh, they feel amazing. And honestly, $30 is not too hefty of a price tag. I feel like the socks and slippers were both priced extremely well. The blanket being 140, you know, I, it was probably about what I was expecting it to be. We're gonna get to the robe in a second. The robe was 126, which was actually a little bit better than I thought. I thought it was gonna be more expensive than the blanket. And then the pajama set, the long sleeve with the pants was $85. That was the one item that I personally felt was like, a little bit overpriced like a little steep but again i have not felt it or tried it on yet so that was the one that like really shocked me with the price the short sleeve short set was 75 dollars, which again way more expensive than i would have expected um so i'm gonna go change my camera battery <laughs> and i will be right back and we will go ahead and try on the pajamas and the robe i am back with an outfit change i just tried on the pajamas and okay <laughs> hear me out they're way softer than i expected them to be um here is what the fabric looks like I look so pale in black. I feel like I never wear black on camera besides leggings. Um, but here is what the material looks like. It's pretty thin. It almost feels cooling. I love the edge detailing. I'm going to insert clips of what this looks like on. I haven't filmed those clips yet, so I'll do that at the end of the video, but you'll be seeing them now. Um, honestly, this set fits me perfectly. I was debating on whether or not to get the XL or the 2XL because sometimes I wear both sizes depending on what it is. Now, here are my sizes in other clothing just to give you guys kind of an idea. So I just recently bought a pair of Lululemon leggings. I got them in a size 12. I also have a pair of American Eagle jeans in a size 14. So that's kind of where I'm sitting as far as like bottom size goes that's 
the best I can give you. I also usually wear like an XL in Target's like sweatpants, um, but for the most part, that's all I know like size wise. So I'm glad I went with XL because the pants fit me perfectly. There is an adjustable like drawstring, so you can definitely tighten them up if you need. Um, the top, so I usually go for a 2X in like unisex stuff for like crew necks and t-shirts and stuff, but I do prefer a more oversized fit. Also from Target, I tend to purchase 2X tops, um, like crop tops and stuff, but again, I do like a little bit more of an oversized fit because I have pretty large boobs. My, uh, I recently got a bra. <laughs> My bra size is a uh, 20, 38G is the, the size that I just recently got that is a little bit small on me. I have a little bit of like spillage, if you know what I mean, but that's the as close of a reference as I can give you as far as like bust size goes. 38G. <laughs> um, and there's no pulling on the buttons. I was really concerned. I am wearing a little like very low support sports bra just for, for the sake of the video because <laughs> like I said, I need a little bit of control in here to be on camera, but usually I would not wear a bra when wearing like pajamas. Pajamas, pajamas, however you say it. Um, but there's no pulling in the button area. This is what I was expecting to happen, but none of that, which I am very pleased with. That was the main reason I considered going with the 2X. I figured the XL would fit me in the bottoms, but I was really concerned about the top, but the top fits perfectly. The pants, I am 5'7", so, um, you know, I'm 5'7", <laughs> for height reference. The pants hit me perfectly. I do have them kind of like a high-waisted fit. Um, that's just kind of how I like to wear my clothing, but the length of the pants is perfect. I will say I prefer a longer sleeve and I keep noticing, like I like to wear my sleeves like this, but the sleeves definitely do kind of come up a little bit. Um, they are like a full length sleeve, but when I'm like talking and as I like stretch out my arms, you can see they do feel a little bit short for my personal preference. Um, but again, that's because usually I'm like curled up in like oversized crew necks like this. I can still do this, but naturally they do kind of ride up a little bit. So that's also something to keep in mind. Um, but for the most part, the fit is a 10 out of 10. The material is a 10 out of 10. I feel like the price is just a little bit high like personally i feel like 85 dollars for a pajama set is a lot <laughs> and i you know I, i'm fine with spending a hundred bucks on a blanket or over a hundred dollars on a blanket but i just feel like 85 dollars for a pajama set does seem a little bit steep in my opinion i will say it's softer and more comfortable than i could have ever imagined i also love the cooling effect that i feel on my skin it's not too hot i live in florida it's very hot here i get hot when i sleep we have a fan on all the time but i feel like this is almost like cooler than just like being under your blanket because it just i don't know it's hard to describe but it has like a nice soft cooling effect to the skin so i love this and i'm so happy that i bought this i definitely will be picking up the short sleeve short version eventually i just have to like chill out a little bit after buying all of these products um but i am very happy with this i love the like width of the pant legs as well very comfortable and flowy 10 out of 10 i love this set if you're okay with spending the money on it i would say absolutely go for it i do not regret this at all i was this was the one that i like had a little bit of buyer's remorse with i was like should i have bought that like I don't see how it's gonna be worth that price tag, but I am very happy with this. So that's great. Wow, what a relief. <laughs> I was a little nervous. And finally, we have the robe. So again, this was 126. I got this in the large, extra large size. This is an oversized fit. So it said to size down if you want like a traditional robe fit. So I went with large, extra large because Typically, I would probably go for, like I said, a 2X like hoodie or crew neck or sweatshirt type thing. So hopefully this one fits. So far, we're on a roll. Um, I will say that the sizing was very confusing to me. So this is just like, I don't know if 
someone from Cozy watches this, but something that I would like request for next time would be measurements. Maybe I missed it on the website, but I was trying to figure out what size to get and I couldn't find measurements on the website anywhere. So maybe it's there now. Again, maybe I missed it, but I could not find it easily. I saw videos of different models wearing the different sizes and it shows you like wearing a size large, wearing a size XL, wearing a size small. So I really appreciated that. That was like extra and I thought that was fantastic. But I didn't see any measurements as far as like, you know, like inch measurements for reference. So that was the only like thing that I felt like they could do better next time for like the next upcoming launch or even adding the measurements to the products that are there now. Again, I could have missed it. I also, it could also be there now. I bought, I was on the website like minutes before it went live. So I was like, check it out as fast as possible. So I really hope that the launch went well and the collection continues to do well so that she can expand sizing in the future. Um, like I said, I got XL in my like, clothing items. So there still is, an additional size after mine personally and you can kind of go based on the measurements and sizing that I gave you earlier so hopefully that is I feel like I, that's as helpful as I can be <laughs> um, so the robe feels just like the socks this definitely feels like you know that that barefoot dreams type material the only thing that feels like this blanket is this blanket but the socks feel like the robe um and then this is also a unique fabric as well so the robe matches the socks perfectly it's that kind of like heathered light gray we have the tag sewn in here so let's go ahead <laughs> and try this on um i really hope that this fits me oh wow she she's roomy okay oh my gosh look at me I feel so fancy in my cozy outfit with my Jacqueline Roxanne earrings. <laughs> I feel bougie. This is fun. This is literally so soft. I love it. It's plush. It's cozy. Cozy is the best way to describe all of these items. So I think it's such a fitting name. Um, but here's what the sleeves kind of look like on me. Like I said, it was advertised as an oversized fit. Um, so honestly, I feel like I could have even gone down a size if I wanted that more traditional look for a robe, but I'm not really a robe person. <laughs> not really a robe person that spends $130 on a robe. <laughs> That's me. Um, but I could see myself being this type of robe person. Like I'm not an out of the shower robe person, but I do love blankets and I do love like those oversized like hooded sweatshirt things like the comfy and whatever. Um, but this, this right here, this is fantastic. It does have pockets. Oh my gosh. It literally has pockets. So again, I'm going to insert some footage of what this looks like on myself so you can see how it fits, how long it is. This is the type of sleeve that I'm talking about. Like this is what I love. The long sleeve that like you can just like kind of cuddle your hands into and just like read your book like this you know be all cozy and cute there is also a tie for the robe so you can kind of keep it keep it on boom i love it i love it so here's the deal here's here's my my final thoughts i know i just went on raving about how soft everything is and that's because it is it's very soft and it's very cozy and i loved every single thing that i got <laughs> Now, the price, very expensive, very luxurious. None of these are necessities. Not a single one is a necessity, obviously. It's, it's you know, additional fun things that definitely improve quality of life, but are not necessary to live your daily life, if that makes sense. So if you wanna treat yourself if you want to treat someone else, if you want to have like the most epic Christmas gift ever and buy someone the set of cozy socks or like the slippers or both, I think that's fantastic. Like 
I might be doing that because I love gifting cozy things and candles. That's like my go-to. I love gifting candles and cozy things because those are things that I love and I feel like, you know, it's fun to share what you love with other people. So I feel like these are gonna be hot, hot, holiday gift items right here because they're in a more reasonable price range you don't have to worry too much about sizing other than the slippers but if you know someone's size it's an easy gift like this would be a great gift for your mom i feel like <laughs> uh, mom if you're watching no you're not um just kidding but i think that these are going to be great christmas gifts or holiday gifts and again they're in that nice under 50 dollar price range um, the blanket, stunning, beautiful gift. I think this is going to be great. This is a gift to yourself kind of thing. Like if you don't have one of these, but you're thinking about getting it for someone else, you need one too. Um, the robe is definitely also <laughs> amazing. This is, if I had to pick between the robe and the blanket, I would choose the blanket. As I started that sentence, I thought it was going to be a lot easier to make the decision, but then I was thinking about how comfortable I am right now. Um, but I still, I don't know, I would say both. But if you had to pick between one or the other, I feel like the blanket is more practical. You know, you can cuddle with your dog under the blanket or your boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever. And I feel like it's more of like a shared item, whereas the robe is more of like a I'm feeling myself and I want to feel good type vibe um, so you know I think they're both fantastic and I think you would be extremely happy with either but I feel like if you had to pick one or the other I feel like the blank is just, blanket is just like a little bit more practical um, and then the pajamas I again like I said I was scared I was like oh my god I'm not gonna think that they're worth the $85 and honestly I feel the like I feel like it's hardest to justify spending that kind of money on the pajama set again you can wear the robe with any pajamas you can use the blanket any time of day in any clothing that you're wearing same with the socks and the shoes but I feel like $85 is just a lot it's a lot but it does feel very high quality I'm not taking that away from it I feel like again this is the hardest item to justify the price in my opinion and it's not even the most expensive item if that makes sense but i will probably not be taking these pajamas off for the rest of the week so <laughs> if that tells you anything i am very happy that i went with black i feel like it looks really good with the gray and white of everything else but i also think the gray was really cute but again poncho's hair and cuddling and i just i'm glad i went with black i also feel i feel classy I feel classy in the black and I like the layered look here also I just noticed that it's kind of like a little v-neck moment it does have that kind of collar that some like fancier pajama sets have um, it lays very nicely it's so soft I can't stop feeling it but I like the little v-neck moment it's a little a little feminine touch I think that's really cute so wow okay cozy well this haul total was $435.38. Like I said, I did not have to pay for shipping, which was fantastic <laughs> because, oh my gosh, um, the shipping was a great experience and I'm very impressed. So moral of the story, if you want to splurge on yourself, if you want to treat yourself or someone else, don't buy anything else. Buy cozy because it's amazing. But if you are like, you know, like, uh, like I don't think I want to spend that much money on a blanket or a robe then just like don't do it like definitely not a must-have for me this is gonna be my new my new must-haves personally must-haves but uh yeah I feel like I hope that makes sense you know like don't pressure yourself to buy these items but if you are in the market for a nice treat look no further I am going to go cuddle up in the other room in my boyfriend's room i always say i'm gonna go to jarvis's room or jarvis is in his room and it, it's like his office <laughs> but there's a little couch bed futon thing in there and i love laying in there with poncho and reading my book i'm currently reading crave and i'm obsessed i'm on like chapter 14 it's amazing so far and i feel like i'm only just 
starting. So I'm going to go curl up in there with my new robe PJ socks blanket and I'll wear my slippers to walk over there. <laughs> curl up, read my book and be the coziest person ever. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'm so happy. <laughs> it's a it's scary spending that much money. It is. Like I was like, oh boy, well, here we go. We're just gonna send it. But I should have known. I should have known it's Jacqueline's brand. She's not gonna disappoint me. And I am not disappointed. I am honestly like, I had my expectations way up here and they were met, if not surpassed a little bit if I must say so <laughs> that's gonna be it everything will be linked down below I love you all so so much I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one bye I forgot to blow you guys a kiss